everybody welcome back to my channel it is Rachel so as I promised in my last video we're gonna do a whole string of videos over the next couple of days because yeah you see all these all my boxes um, and I actually have some time to do this but today's video specifically is going to be my FabFitFun fall unboxing which it's not even fall it's August it's August guys and we got this in fall so uh, um, kudos to them for getting it out early like that's great, but it is just kind of throwing me off quite a bit. Um, for those that don't know, um, FabFitFun is a lifestyle box. Um, it has beauty, lifestyle, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can either like pay for the whole year or you can pay for it uh, quarterly. So it, it comes quarterly. I pay for the whole year membership. There's a few perks, as they say, for the membership, meaning you get extra selections. You're supposed to get it shipped first, although that's debatable. Um, and you get early access to the sales, which is kind of nice, although I've been trying to be better about that. So for this, this literally, we had the sell, which if you guys want to see the add-on, video um, I'll put it up above here but that literally just happened a couple weeks ago and I already got the stuff for that I was very good I did add on two extra items from one category which was about $20 worth of stuff for this and I'll explain why I did that even though I'm in a bit of a low buy and yeah so let's get into it I actually played with a few of the items I'm gonna play with a few of the items on here give you guys my thoughts um, on this box if you have not seen my edit sell review video where I kind of go over all the products I'll link that as well up above at the very end I go over my original thoughts as I was picking out items for this box and I think it'd be good to look at that little section and then kind of compare it to now because some of my thoughts have changed a little bit some have not so anyway let's dive into this so first thing first this is what the box looks like. It's supposed to be like fall into love or love into fall or I forgot. I was, I actually, I opened this up and played with a few of the items and I was reading through the, the box and they talked a little bit about the designer. Um, she does more of this flat aesthetic. And then I also was reading about this here on all your boxes. They have a charity that they partner with. This one is the city of hope, which is supposed to be a organization that helps with like cancer research and other uh, research to help different diseases, uh, but cancer is their main one. And uh, one of the FabFitFun uh, employees or people who help with the box was talking about her experience with breast cancer and this organization, how helpful they were. So that is uh, a good thing that they do. Um, and then they put in the handout how much that they had gotten from the edit cell which was a different foundation and that was like eighty-seven thousand dollars, which is pretty cool all right so this is not all nice and pretty because like i said i've already gotten into my box but this is what it looks like very cute um i think there's some debate about if this box is fallen up i feel like that happens every fall and um everybody's definition of what fall is is different for me fall is uh going back to school it is uh, holidays like Thanksgiving, so getting everybody together in a big family event. And it is hurricane season, if that makes sense. Even though I don't live in a hurricane area, I had lived in a hurricane area for years. And September uh, is like hurricane season. So the beginning of fall is hurricane season for me. So I think of things like rain and wind. It does not get cold here until probably December. So things like scarves and all that, just they don't really scream fall to me. <laughs> they do to other people. Uh, Pumps and Spice does, all that stuff. Okay, I'm just rambling at this point. So this is what the magazine looks like. They got Megan Trainer on there. I did actually read all through it. Just FYI, if you guys do any sort of unboxings or anything, they do have giveaways. Take advantage of that. I think this one is in Malibu. One day I'm gonna win one of these, one day. Um, there was, so this is our little page. I'm gonna go through stuff as I unbox it, but let's do the two items that I bought in addition to what was in my box. And that was in category two. So if you go through this, they do categories and the ones in pink are all the members can pick from that category. The ones in yellow here are the ones that the select or people who have a full year long membership can pick. And then at the very end, they have stuff that they sent to everybody. So um, there was one category I actually kind of liked a lot in it and, and or I needed stuff in it. So I went ahead and purchased it and that was in the second category. So 
The second category had um, detox pads, which I did not get. It had a the cut from the cloth striped wallet, and I got this. This was probably the thing I was most excited about and probably the least disappointed when I actually got it. So this is cut from the cloth, which I really like cut from the cloth. I have a bunch of their jeans. They fit me really well. Um, the brand for their clothing is not overly pricey, but this wallet is priced at $60. This is not a $60 wallet. Now it is squishy. It's one of these longer styles. And this is what it looks like inside. So it's got these little pockets and then it's got the one side for the bills. And I guess I don't know when I was picking it out, I was assuming it was gonna have one where you could put the bills on this top side or an extra little thing on the back here. So my big problem with the wallet is this is not a $60 wallet. It is, um, I feel like after time this is going to break easily. It just feels like there's cardboard in there and that's gonna get broken. And there's not enough slots. And maybe this is to help keep you from over cluttering it and that, you know, I guess, but I feel like there should be a slot over here or an extra slot under here. Like this is, this is not gonna cut it on slots. So let me show you my current wallet. I've had this wallet since, I, it's at least 10 years old. It's probably older than that. It's a fossil wallet. You can see this thing is falling apart, but it has, I'm not gonna show you all the stuff in here because obviously I've got my stuff in there, but it's got like all sorts of like little cubby holes and things to shove stuff in. So I wanted to replace this with this. <laughs> and now I'm not so sure that's gonna work real well. I'm gonna try, I'll get back with you guys. All right, so that is that first item. And then the second item, um, which is the Kate Spade lunch tote. This was uh, valued at $30. Um, my old lunch bag is from med school. It was a neoprene one that is, it's been very nice, but it is definitely um, seeing its age. I thought this was gonna be a little bit bigger, but it's not quite as big as I was hoping, but it's still a nice, decent size lunchbox. It's insulated, it's really cute. I really do appreciate, you guys probably can't appreciate it as much, but it, it has like a, um, almost like a wax film over the top, not wax or plastic, so that this is a wipe, wipeable lunch bag, which is really handy because my other one doesn't clean off so well. And it says out to lunch. So my only complaint would be, I wish it was just a tad bit bigger, but that's really cute. I definitely, definitely we're gonna use this a lot. And the reason I needed a new lunch pail is because with all this healthy eating and trying to be better, I am trying to bring my lunch to work so I don't eat out as much. And this is one of my ways to inspire me to do that. All right, let's actually get into my box um, and see the items that are in it. So the first thing is they gave you a HelloFresh and a $15 off your first FabFit Fun box. So if anyone wants this coupon code, let me know. Um, all right, so let's just jump in and do the first, the first item. So the first items here, you could have gotten a yoga mat, a um, Amika Strand Perfect Styler, or a plush plaid scarf. Now for me, I have no reason to have a scarf. I barely use them in the winter. I have a whole closet full of them and I don't use them. So I went with the straightener, even though I already have a straightener. Um, because I really was not interested in, oh, and there was, I'll get into this more in a second. I don't do yoga, so I wasn't going to get the yoga mat. Um, and I heard kind of mixed reviews on it. There was a teeth straightener and they still have it in the book here, but that got pulled at the last minute. But even if they had had that still, I still would have gotten the straightener. So I already have a straightener, but again, it is really old. It's probably 10 years old as well. Um, but this one is by Amiga, which is a really good brand. I did just use it not that long ago. So my hair, I put it up wet uh, yesterday. So it was dry by the time I woke up this morning, but you get those lines from the ponytail. So I just did a quick run through with it. It did a pretty good job of getting the lines out. It heated up pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I don't really have any big complaints about it. It's a little bit bigger than my old one. Um, and it's a little bit heavier feeling than my old one, but my old one was like a $15 straightener um, from Sally Beauty Supply 10 plus years ago. So, you know, anyway, but if you can see here, uh, you can adjust, it's hard to see in there, but you can adjust the heat and then the button is an on off switch. So I do really appreciate that they have it in a cute little bag here. 
um, for travel, although I'll be honest, for travel I'll probably take my old one because it's a little bit smaller than this. But yeah, not too bad. I am pretty happy with that. So that is the first item. That was worth $80. The other item was the Anthropology Travel Mat, which was worth $50, and the scarf, which was worth $75. So you can see, there's a scarf, there's the yoga mat. All right, so now we talked about the second category. I got already two items off the second category, but I decided to, oh, they also in the first category had the uh, mystery item. I didn't, I don't know. I just didn't want any mystery item this time. Not feeling very mystery item this week. All right, so the second thing, so we talked about it, the detox pads, which I did not get. We got the wallet, we got the launch pail, and then the third thing was the twin cheese board. Believe it or not, the cheese board was the least expensive item out of this category. And it's the most surprisingly good one. So when I say fall, and, and I'm thinking about, is this a fall box? One of the things I think of fall is Thanksgiving and gathering family members together. My children have their birthday parties. We usually have a lot of family gatherings. So this actually does fit in with a fall thing. Now this was smaller than I was expecting, but it is um, nonetheless really cute. I hadn't played with this particular item. So let me open it up and show you guys. This is supposed to be, um, I think it's acacia wood. I believe when I was reading about it, it was acacia wood. But it's acacia wood with two little ch cheese knives here. If you can see. And then you've got your little board. So you put your little crackers on this side and cheese. And then I do like this. You can take this little ceramic plate out where you put your cheese on that you cut on and you can wash it. So I have other cheese boards that don't have the little ceramic plate and they're about this size and they're really irritating because you have to wash them and then the wood gets messed up and then it's just a pain. So this is actually really, really nice because you can wipe down this side and you can really wash the ceramic. So I was actually extremely pleasantly surprised by this and this is a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. So, um, yeah, that is that item. I thought that was really good. I do think that that is a very fall life. All right, let's go into the next category here, which is the three. This is everybody could pick this. You could get the Better Than Skin Lava Magic, which was $32. The Bubble Bear Farrah Ear Crawlers, which were $34. Or the Cosmetic Pure C uh, <laughs> Crystals that you put in your lotions, which is $54. I'm on Skin Overload. This is the uh, Magic Lava and this is the Pure C. I got the Ear Crawlers um, by Bobble Bear, Bobble Bar, and um, they're cute. Now, I have heard good things about Bobble Bar, but these are costume. Let's just be honest, they're costume. Um, so this is gonna be interesting because, let me just show you guys here. Ear Crawlers, the, the concept of them is that they're supposed to crawl up your ears like this, right? But I am not sure how that's gonna work. So let me put these on my lower piercing here, which I don't put earrings in very often, so that hole is not gonna be very happy with me. There we go. So you could wear them down. Some people have done that, and I actually really like the effect, but ear crawlers are supposed to theoretically crawl up your ear like that. I don't know how these are gonna stay. I don't think my ear is gonna probably let it stay. So let me put the little earplug thing on the back. Let's see. All right. Yeah, so for me at least, ear crawlers are not gonna stay up crawling up my ear like that. That's what they're supposed to do. I don't think my, I don't know if my earlobe just doesn't wanna keep it on or what, but it doesn't really wanna stay, but that's what they're supposed to do. Honestly though, I'll be honest, I actually just like them like this. I know they're ear curlers, but I think they look cute like this. This is how I would wear them. Um, so just be know, know that if you get ear crawlers, you don't actually have to wear them as ear crawlers. I think someone had put on an unboxing video when this first came out and the girl wore them the wrong way and everyone's like, oh my gosh, everybody was upset that she wore it the wrong way and it looked cute. And I just, I don't think you have to wear things the way that they're designed to be worn if it doesn't work for you. So anyway, those are those, they're cute. I'd love to use them. All right, next category is the, um, next category was only for uh, annual members that they could pick. You had your option of the 
dual salt pepper mills for $21. This is the E-Pair, the After Shower Hair Towel for $18, the Tristique Mini Eye Essentials for $48, or the uh, Skin Evolve Body Gel Boost for $45, or the Aromatherapy for $29. So this is the Tristique, this is the Salt Shaker, that's the Aromatherapy, that's the hair thing. In my theme of fall and getting ready and cooking, I got the um, salt and pepper grinder. I have some old ones. I don't have one quite like this. I thought this would be fun to try out. And if I didn't like it, I would give it away as a gift. So, um, but that's what it looks like. I don't have anything to put in it right this second, so obviously can't show you how well it works. But this is not bad looking. It goes with the aesthetic of my kitchen, which is stainless steel. Um, I like the idea that you're supposed to be able to use two sides. So you can see you dial it and then depending on which side you're either gonna be um, the, the pepper side or the other side. And then I believe, yeah. You do one side as that and then the other side, let's see. I'm showing you guys this correctly. Yeah, so one side and the other. So basically, it's that. I love the fact that this is space saving if you don't have a lot of room in your kitchen. The concept is really cool. So I'll play with it. Let you know if this is a good concept in, in actual usage. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That is that. All right, so let's move on to the next category, which was you could either have the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. You guys know my thoughts on these. I've used them before. Or the Truffle Therapy Toner. Those were, it. oh, and then, sorry, or the Aromatherapy Ball. I put that in the other category. So there's that and there's that. I got this because I have enough eye masks and actually I haven't, um, I haven't put my lotion on for today. So I'm gonna go to a meeting in just a little bit. I figured we'd try this out together on camera and see. Hmm. It doesn't have much of a smell. So for me, you're supposed to use like cotton pads or cotton balls. I use a towel because I don't really want to purchase a bunch of cotton stuff and throw it away. Now it's got this really nice like squeezy bottle top here so it allows you to dispense it really well. It has just a really clean fresh smell, probably just more the witch hazel smell. That feels really good. And it got some gunk off my face, so that's working nicely. All right, so this has, let's see what it has in it. And first ingredient is water, then witch hazel, then sage and lemon peel extract, and then bitter orange. So it has some good like exfoliating products in there. There is lavender in there, but it doesn't have a big lavender thing. There is no alcohol, which is really key for these so they don't overstrip your face. Um, it is cruelty free and apparently it is also uh, organic. So that's really cool. I actually really like this. Um, so that item was $30. All right guys, now we're gonna get into the items that everybody got. Um, as I said in my other video, I was hoping there would be like a hero item. There were no hero items, but now that I've gotten it, I'm actually a little bit more pleasantly surprised by the items and they're not hero items, but they're all useful and they're all things that I will enjoy. So the first item is by Humankind and this is a vegan and cruelty-free product, Body Souffle. And we go through body lotion or my daughter does quite frequently, so I don't mind getting this. This is made in Belgium and um, yeah, the packaging is super cute. So this, uh, it's supposed to be a blend of apricot oil and shea butter. I'm not gonna open it. I have other lotions that are open, but it's you can smell it through the packaging. It smells really good. So I am excited about that. That's a nice big lotion. That is worth $18. The next item is Aveda Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. Now, my um, roommate in college used to use Aveda hair products all the time. They're solid hair, hair products. Um, and I'm definitely gonna give this one a good try next time. I shower to see how it works on my hair. It smells like all other Aveda products, which I don't know how to describe it. Um, there's like a, it's it's just a very intense, like earthy smell to it. Not my favorite smell in the world, but one that I have, I don't hate. I just don't gravitate towards the smell. It is, uh, I've heard decent things about this. So 
this is worth $30, $30 and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put it in your hair after you shower and it's supposed to help condition and heat protect your hair. So that is really, really nice. I do usually put in something to kind of heat protect my hair. This is supposed to be infused with quinoa protein, macadamia oil, soy. And so yeah, I'll give it a bunch of tries and let you guys know because this is helpful. And then the last item that I was pleasantly like surprised, didn't know what to think about it, but now that I've read about it more, I'm actually kind of interested in it. This is the Harper and Ari Exfoliating Sugar Cubes. This is not something I would ever purchase on my own, um, but given to me in a box where, you know, the overall value of the box is really high. This is kind of a cool concept. So this is these sugar cubes. Oh, they smell so good too. They smell like, um, like the, a type of gum. Like, I can't even think of the gum. But anyway, they, they, t they smell like a juicy juice gum or something like that. They, they smell really, really good. But you're supposed to take them in your hand, crush them either when the, you're in the bath or the shower, and use it as an exfoliating scrub. And so that's really cool. I like the concept of this. I do think that this could be a little bit difficult if you try to reach in here with wet hands. So this may be one where you want to grab a cube before you get in the shower so that you're not getting the container all wet inside, which I would imagine would start dissolving this. But these seem really, really cool. Um, and this, yeah, I'm sure, let's see, aqua sorbitol. Um, it has aloe vera, shea butter. Yeah, overall, decent stuff. It does have perfume in it if you don't like perfume. So anyway, those are the items, guys. So what are my thoughts on the box? It's still not the most exciting box. There was no hero item. Um, I, I don't think it was as fall as the previous box. Last year's box was very fall-like for me. I'll post that video up if you guys are interested in it. That one had like a teapot and an umbrella, and it just, it screamed fall. Tea towels, all of that stuff. This one has elements of it. It's like a weird mix of back to school, pamper yourself and um, holidays. And so it, I do get the fall feel for it. It's just not as excessively fall as I would expect. But I'm okay with that. Like, I don't really care hugely if these are super themed for the season. I know a lot of people do for me. I just want good products that I'm actually gonna use. And everything in this box to me is actually quite usable. Every single thing that I got, is I'm gonna use. There's nothing in this box that I look at that I'm like, I am not gonna use. I've already used this, the toner I've already used. You know, obviously it will, I'll get around to using this. Um, this, I either give to someone or use, and then this, I am actually really excited to, to use for the holidays. So I, um, I think it was a good box. I don't think it was great. I think the value was there. I just, you know, it was good. It wasn't great. So, all right, just a few other things. I did actually read through the entire book here and um, I thought it was interesting. Um, so they did uh, just a few things here. They did go over, you know, using your hair products. And then um, I thought this was interesting. And this kind of uh, keys into some of my healthy living stuff that I am on the journey of. But they had whole sections in, on here about talking about not too late, how to eat healthy, you know, if you're feeling stuck in a rut in your career and working out. And these are very, like, it's very nice and inspirational. And, like, I, I do like that they're promoting that. And it seems very apropos in my time of life right now. Um, they also had uh, the other thing, which I thought was good, because I don't pay enough attention to it when with this membership. So with the membership with FabFitFun, you get access to the FabFitFun TV. I haven't really spent any time on it, but they highlighted their shows. And I, I'm glad they did because there's some shows in here that I'm very interested in, like the Instapot recipes. I have an Instapot I haven't pulled out yet that I would love to get some recipes. They have um, some shows on exercising, which I'm gonna definitely give a try as well. So just things to, to note about that. So anyway, guys, that is it. Um, the edit sale is opening up, I believe it's the 23rd two days, two, three days from now. So as always, I will try, I'm all over it. So I'm gonna try really hard to get that video up relatively quickly for you guys. Um, so stay tuned for that, because I know that is a very important video for a lot of you guys. It helps you kind of decide and go over the products. Um, before the end of the month, I will also be doing my mega unboxing video, which I will do, you know, my look fantastic 
in my um, glossy box and I have Sephora Play, Allure, and Tri Beauty. And then if I have time, I'm gonna try to do a separate Ipsy versus Ipsy um, because there's a lot of new changes with Ipsy. So I'd like to go over that as well in a video. And then if I have time, I'll do some other videos playing with some new palettes, going over some healthy lifestyle stuff, all of that. So stay tuned. I'm gonna try to get a bunch up here soon. But if not, uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So bye. Thanks.